So today I'm going to talk about modifiers. All right. So you've seen, you know, uh, before your uh, integers or you know variables or objects um, that sometimes we might uh, on methods that we might put modifiers. So things like public, static, final, you know, things like that. They're, they're modifiers. All right. And I'm going to go through uh, three of them today and fourth one briefly. So the first one is private. Oops, I accidentally closed the class somehow. So the first one is private. That means that uh, no other class can use it. Okay, so the dog class can't access k. The util class can't access the variable k. However, you know we, we can access k here. We've got to make it static though. I'm going to briefly introduce you to static. All right, before I go into public. Pub public, actually, you can literally just... its Any class can access it. All right. So now I'm going to briefly try and cover static as best as possible. Static literally means one instance of. All right. So take, take a look at this. All right. Dog, there's nothing static in here because we can make dog multiple times. Util, there is static because it's just going to be made once. Sometimes something has to be static if you want to use it in a static method. That That's literally the best explanation I can give you right now. Yeah. And finally, the last one is, ironically enough, final. Alright. So, what, what's the deal with final? Well, first, you have to initialize it, okay? You have to give it a value. Okay? Up front, it's... Jesus Christ, come on! Alright. You have to give it a value, okay? You can't just leave it. Okay? And the value you give it is a final value. You aren't changing that. It's not going to let you. Okay? It's going to be like, no, that's final. All right? That's pretty much it. Uh, actually, one thing I'd like to quickly go through. Um, you've seen me, uh, you know, initialize methods and objects, you know, here, uh, mostly um, in the main method. You you don't have to do it in the main method. You can just do it in the main body of the class. Okay, it doesn't have to be in the main method. However, if it is in the main body, it will have to be static so that the main class can actually access it. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I urge you to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.